Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi here, coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, and today I'm going to talk to you about logarithms and the rules of logarithms, and I just want to give a shout out to Shelby at Atascacita High in Texas. You're going to need to know exponents, exponent rules, and roots, and if you don't know these, go to my channel and find these videos. All right. Now, don't forget that exponents are also called powers. And you're going to learn what a logarithm is. You're going to learn how to write logarithms. The rules of logarithms. Common logarithms. And natural logarithms. Now, the key to understanding logarithms is this. Logarithms are exponents. Don't forget that. Logarithms are the exponents. So let's review exponents. An exponent shows how many times a number is a factor. So here we go. We have b to the l equals n. Well, b is the base, l is the exponent, and n is the number. That's exponents. Now, if you don't understand exponents, get out of here and Go uh, work on your exponents, then come back here and do logarithms again. So let's look at some examples. 2 to the second power equals 4. 4 to the a power is 64. And b to the fourth equals m. Notice that exponents can be um, variables just like anything else. So let's talk about logarithms. Logarithms can be written in this form. Log b n equals l. Now what you need to notice here is that b is the base. So it's log base. And then we have the n. The n is the number. And l is the exponent. Because logarithms are the exponent. All right, here's some examples. Let's take 2 squared equals 4. And let's write that as a logarithm. Log base 2, and then we have um, n, 4 as the n, and of course 2 is the exponent. Notice how we took the exponential form and turned it into the logarithmic form. All right, let's look at another example. x to the third power equals 8. So the base is going to be x log x. And then we know that the uh, exponent is going to be 3. And we know that 8 is the number. And so we wrote from the exponential form to the logarithmic form. All right. With that understanding, let's go and look at logarithmic rules. There's the product rule, which tells us that if you have two logs to the same base, then log bm plus log bn is going to equal their product, log b m times n. And you need to remember that the bases must be the same. Let's look at an example. Log 5, 12, plus log base 5, 3, is going to equal log 5, 12 times 3, which is 36. There we go. We added two logarithms. How about another example? Log base x, 3, plus log base x, 4. Now notice the bases are the same. Therefore, we can have 3 times 4. And we have log x, or uh, base x, uh, 12. Now let's look at the quotient rule. Log b m minus log b n, again the bases have to be the same, will equal log b m over n. Pretty simple, really. Here's an example. Log base 3, 12 minus log base 3, 4 
is going to be log 3, 12 divided by 4, which will be log 3, uh, 3, which, by the way, notice that that is going to be 3 to what power equals 3? Well, of course, that would be 1. So now the power rule, log b m to the n power. Well, that's going to equal n log b m. Notice that the power can come out there and be the coefficient. And this makes total sense if you remember your rules from exponents. Let's look at an example here. Log base 3, 7 squared. We can move that 2 to the front. And we get 2 times the log 3, base 3, 7. Or we have uh, 5, log 4, 7. Now that 5 can come up uh, and be 7 to the 5th power. And we have log base 4, 7 to the 5th power. It works both ways and can be very useful when simplifying log equations. Common and natural logs. Common logarithms. The common logarithm is a log with base 10. And base 10 logarithms are so common that we go ahead and just sometimes uh, write log without the uh, base down there. So log uh, 10 to the uh, of 100 equals 2. That's the same as uh, 10 squared. And we can write it as log 100 equals 2. We're going to assume that when we don't write the base, that is uh, base 10, and that's called a common logarithm. So let's look at some examples. Log base 10, 1,000 equals 3. Well, that's going to be uh, log, uh, without the 10 there, 1,000 equals 3, and that just means base 10. Natural logarithms. The natural logarithm is very common, and you might be thinking, what? Base E? Well, base E uh, is, has to do with uh, the number E, which is a number uh, very similar. It's an irrational number, very similar to pi, and it shows up a lot. And E is approximately 2.71828, and we usually round it off to 2.72. And natural log E equals 1. And when we write natural log, that's the same as saying log e, base e, to the e equals 1. Because natural log equals log base e. Let's look at some examples and put that to use. Natural log 1 equals 0. Well, that's the same as log base e 1 equals 0. So we're saying e to the 0 power is 1. All right, let's try some practice. Write as a logarithm. 2 to the third power equals 8. Okay, there's our base. So log 2, or base 2. There's our number. So log base 2, 8, equals our exponent, because logarithms are exponents. And so we write the 3. Log base 2, 8, equals 3. Write as a logarithm e to the x equals 2. Well, e is our base, so it's going to be a natural logarithm and log base e. And then we're going to, uh, 2 is our number, so we're going to write 2 there. And that, of course, equals our exponent, which is x. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now write an exponential or as an exponential. Log base 5 of 25 equals 2. Well, there's our base, so we're going to write 5. There's our exponent, so it's 5 squared, equals, and of course we know that's 25. Isn't that cool? Natural log e to the fourth power equals x. Natural log is going to be base e, or e is going to be our base. There's our exponent equals e to the fourth. Isn't that cool? Very useful skill. So now let's evaluate. Log base 3, 5 
plus 5 log base 3, 2. And then we want us to evaluate this, therefore we've got to simplify it. So let's take and put the 5 as an exponent. And then uh, we know that 2 to the 5th power is 32. And so log uh, base 3 of 5 times 32 is 160. Now if you need to, go back and watch this again. All right, let's recap. You should know what a logarithm is. You wrote uh, logarithms. You learned the log rules. And you discovered natural logs. And you practiced a little bit. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, y'all.